Well, look at that. Two videos recorded, edited, and uploaded in the same day. If I could keep up this level of work, you could study fair exams. All right, let's look at the next sequence. This is January, January 2016. So this is a straightforward one. I'm just doing this for kicks. And here we go. figure you know the usual so that's kind of easy you just drop that figure there feel good about yourself make sure you paint all the dots dot, 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 dot. all right so that's easy let's go on to the table so in this table you know I should I really take a look at this question before it okay. so in this table we ask to fill in the blanks collect your marks only fill in where you need to fill in there the and fill in spots here students is do these things in it anyhow so Let's see if we can get the pattern. One time we can see that the difference is three. Is the difference three here as well? Six to 11, nah, five. The difference is five. Now it's important that you get the difference between each number as they go along. Cause that number we're gonna use that. But sometimes there are cases where you won't get a difference. And I explained that in the previous video, which, is, which was one of the harder sequences that we saw in recent times. Okay, so we have a nice little difference thing going on here. So, the first thing I usually find is this. I usually find the lowest column first. Why? Because this can just crack open the question and it becomes really easy after that. So, how do I fill in this blanks with N? I need to kind of create an equation. As I said, I found that the difference between items in these columns was 3. So, you need to multiply 3 by N. Okay. Is n common? n is capital. 3 by n. So 3 by 1 is not 4. Don't get worried. 3 by 2 is not 7. 3 by 3 is not 10. But what can we do to get it to the to skip up to that number? All we need to do is add 1. So the answer is 3 by n plus 1. Now this is not the answer for this part. They're just right in there. The answer for this part will be 3 by 4, which is 12, plus 1 is 13. Or you could have just read this off your diagram. Ah, this thing is good for holding it for so long, boy. Alright, and watch the magic work here again. 5, because the difference between each number in this in this column is 5. So 5 by n, 5 by 4. Alright, let's try it with the existing one. 5 by 3 is... 15 so I need to add on one to get it to make there so Hope you see that 5 by 4 is 20 plus 1. So this is 21 Right or you could have just look at your diagram and get it But you wouldn't be able to look at your diagram for this because there's no diagram for this one So it's kind of gets simple after that 5 by 10 plus 1 51 you just fill it in any blanks now. Oh Sorry, I put that in the wrong spot Don't do that 3 by 10 plus 1 is 31 and 5 by 10 plus 1 is 51. I'm just using the formula from before. Okay, they always want to put a little something to make it interesting. You need to go this way now. So, the number that we were using before was 3 by n plus 1. So, if you want to go backwards, you need to take away the 1, then divide by 3. Alright, so for this, is going to be 49 take away 1, which is equal to 48. 48 divided by 3, which is equal to 16. 16 times 3 is 48. Let me hope so, yes. Alright, so we have 16 here, and the last column here is going to be 5 by n plus 1, plus 1, 5 by 16 plus 1, 5 by 16 is 80, 80 plus 1 is 81, man, this is getting easy, so, and then this is 3n plus 1, and this is 5n plus 1, 3 max, and this is 5n plus 1, alright, so, so hopefully these two videos help you in seeing a little clearer where sequences are concerned. Remember what you want to look for is a one number that could burst the relationship between them. So make friends with the like button, subscribe, share, teach somebody next time.